Hey guys, I'm doing this here, bring you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Friday. And today I want to go over common mistakes new techs make getting into IT. So these are mistakes that, that I want you to avoid and not make when you're brand new to IT. And I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I'm, I'm gonna, that's how I am. I'm, I'm real blunt and direct with people. So, in a, in a respectful way, obviously. So I'm gonna tell you how it is because a lot of people in IT, they may talk about this, they may not talk about this, but this is very important. This is like for, for you guys to understand why I'm saying this and you need to you need to understand why it's done this way, okay? Because when I first started IT, I got my A plus, right? And I couldn't get a job at all. Like literally couldn't get a job at all. And that really messed me up, right? As an as a brand new person in IT. And I've been in IT for a while now. So I don't want you making the same mistakes that I have made in my past. So what happens is you live and learn, right? So I'm gonna teach you the right way of getting into IT and the right way of mistakes you should be avoiding if you're brand new to IT, okay? So let me share my screen with you. So today is common mistakes new techs make getting into IT. Uh, number one, <laughs> being all over the place. What does that mean? So that means uh, I'm going to go get this sort. I'm going to get A+. Plus. I'm going to get Network+. Plus. I'm going to get CCNA. I'm going to get Microsoft. Oh, no one's calling me right now. I don't think I don't think anyone's calling me. No one wants to call me because I have because I have no experience. No one wants to call me because I need to have more certs. No, you need to. And then other people, are, oh, I want to learn the advanced stuff. I want to learn PowerShell. I want to learn Python. I want to learn Hack the Box. Try Hack Me and all these crazy things, right? Stop doing that. Stop doing that. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Stop doing that. Focus on what's in front of you and take care of that first. Make a plan of action. Do not go all over the place. A lot of people do this in IT that are new. I'm going to get A+. Plus, I'm going to get Network+. Plus, I'm going to get Security+. Plus, um, and then I'm going to start applying for... No. You apply for jobs. You fix your resume. You build a lab at home. So this is that plan of action. While you're getting your certification, you build a lab at home. You focus on learning the skills you need to know for that position or for that job you're applying for. Then you start getting the certification. You get the cert, right? But you're still applying for jobs. Right? You learn the skill while you're getting the certification and you're applying for jobs all at the same time. I know that sounds like overwhelming, but you can still apply for jobs if you don't have the A plus or network plus or this job's asking for that specific certification. If you have a really good resume, people will call you regardless of having no certifications. Then you could just go ahead and get it afterwards. So I don't understand why, what's this thing of, of I'm going to wait till I get the A plus to apply for a job. No, stop doing that. Please stop doing that. You're only hurting yourself when you do that. If you see a job and it access for two years of experience, entry apply anyway, and access for A plus, apply anyway. It doesn't matter. Apply anyway. Stop, stop being like, oh, I can't apply for this job. It access for 500 years of experience. Apply anyway. Just fix your resume. Your resume is important. Just because no one calls you doesn't mean you need more certifications. It means your resume needs to be fixed. Take a step back. Look at your resume. Figure out what's going on with your resume. And if you don't know what's going on with your resume, have, your, have someone look at your resume, whether it's someone on LinkedIn, whether it's someone that works IT, maybe a job recruiter. Have someone look at your resume and see what they needs to be fixed. Maybe, the, maybe it's formatted incorrectly. Maybe... Um, there are no technical keywords. Like for example, you're applying for help desk. There's no Active Directory. There's no Windows 10. There's no Office 365 on the resume. Obviously no one's gonna call you. There's nothing to do with IT on the resume. So think of it that way, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna share my screen again. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to rent today a little bit because just people don't understand this. All right, number two, this is very important. I didn't see, these are things I'm teaching you based on my experience because I don't want you dealing with the issues that I had to deal with when I first started IT. Connect with people on LinkedIn or anywhere in IT, anyone in IT. Connect with people on LinkedIn or anywhere in IT. So what does that mean? Fix your LinkedIn profile. Talk to job recruiters. Connect with managers in your area. Participate in work seminars. So there are seminars for job placement. So there are job recruiters and hiring managers in these seminars on LinkedIn. I don't know if you know that, but they do have seminars for job placement, for career, for things like that. 
So I want you to go and participate in that. Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know in the tech industry. Just keep that in mind. And then this is the one I put an asterisk and this is very important. Connect with people who already had the job that you want. So don't be afraid to reach out to them. Be polite and reach out to them. So I'm going to start sharing again. Sorry. So if you see someone, they have a job in cybersecurity, you want to know how they got that job. What certifications did that and what steps did they take to get into that, to that position? That's what you want to know. That's what you have to do. In order for you to get a job in IT, obviously you, you start the baby steps, you get the entry level job. But after that, you want to advance your career, right? You want, you want to have a career path. Talk to that person that has the job that you want, rather sysadmin, network admin, cybersecurity. A lot of people are afraid to reach out to someone that already has that job. Be uncomfortable and get comfortable. Get out of your comfort zone and go talk to them. All right. I'm going to share again. Number three, very important one, by the way, learn what you're doing. What does that mean? Too many people are using brain dumps. Stop doing that. Learn the certification and why we use it, how we use it in the job industry. Too many people memorize the answer, but don't know why that's the answer. Stop taking shortcuts and understand what you're doing. I'm going to stop sharing again. A lot of people do this, by the way. I'm not even making this up. They, 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 go, to, they go and take the exam. They memorize all the questions and answers, and then they don't understand why that's the answer. Stop doing that. You do that, I'm going to be very upset with you. Understand what you're doing, understand why you're doing it, and figure out why it's done that way in a job in the job environment. Okay, let me share again. Seek a mentor. So yes, you need someone to push you. You need someone to give you a career a career path. Connect with someone who has a job you want. Sometimes you need that motivation. And I'm gonna stop sharing again. This is what it is for me. Like I didn't have a mentor when I first started IT, but now I'm mentoring other people. So figure out who you could get to mentor you. You need a mentor in IT if you wanna figure out your career path. That's something that I, I didn't know about. I, I learned that on my own. And I'm mentoring other people right now. I'm mentoring students. I'm mentoring people in my internship. I'm mentoring people from, from um, Job Skillshare platform where I work with Donish. I'm, I'm mentoring a bunch of different people from different platforms to different places. You have to have a mentor. They will push you. They'll fix your resume. They'll talk to you. They give you that one-on-one -on -one training. At least have a mentor that cares about you, that takes the time to talk to you, that takes the time to interact with you, that takes the time to look at your resume, and gives the, and they give you 100% of attention to you. You need a mentor like that. If you have someone like that, then you could get all the, you could go up and get those jobs. You know, it's very important. Having a mentor is very, I know that's, that sounds like too much. You have to pay for someone to be a mentor. That's fine. Have a mentor. Trust me. It, it's going to save you a lot of headaches. It's going to help you. So do, do that. Obviously, if you can't do that, then you could do it on your own. But this is, this is going to be a, like a game changer for you if you have a mentor. Okay? Share again. Have your own lab. This is the last one. Have your own lab. So what do I mean by that? Too many people watch videos online, but don't have their own lab at home to practice. You cannot learn anything from just watching a video. You have to do it on your own. Build your lab. For example, what's a lab? A lab is like, for example, help that server 2019 with Active Directory, Windows 10, join to a domain. Both the server and both the operating system, Windows 10, is on VMware VirtualBox. I cannot stress this enough. Have your own lab to understand what you're doing. Too many people watch videos, but don't practice it or understand it. And I'm going to stop sharing. And that's it. That's pretty much it for this presentation. So build your own lab. Understand what you're doing. It's not the same from watching a video. A lot of people watch videos, but they don't understand what they're doing. Like they don't understand what's going on in the video. You cannot understand it unless you actually do it. And then I didn't put number six there, but number six would be Get out of your comfort zone. A lot of people get too comfortable and do absolutely nothing. Stop doing that. Get out of your comfort zone and do, do things to get results. And that's it. That's pretty much it for today. And that wraps it up. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this helps you out. And I hope this motivates you. I hope you guys have a great Friday. Take care. Peace. Bye.